we got here the 74 automatic that uh, now we have space my notchbacks in California in Imperial Beach and the 77 is pretty much ready to rock and roll on its drive up to Seattle the 74 gets to come inside for the first time probably in 21 years it's out of the bacon bleeding sun and it already smells better just from being in here for an hour or two out of the hot of the sun because a lot of the interior is still 100% original we did recover the uh, seats in original fabric it's not any reproduction fabric it was uh, exactly the same the guy had a bolster of the original stuff um, and even if he was lying it was damn straight original looking I mean I held it right next to it so it looked like the real deal uh, Michelle put together two bolsters she made those out of uh, a front uh, privacy curtain kind of a neat little addition but uh, there's the bed um, there's a couple little problems with the original laminate it's curling a bit so we got this just to hold down temporarily until I get some glue underneath there and hold it down I don't want someone coming in and knocking that edge and ripping the original stuff but this is a nice uh, cruise around the original interior of the 74 and we redid a stool as you can see right there the screens have to be redone yet um, one of the front seats have been redone using the original side vinyl we kept the side vinyl because it was in good shape and reupholstered this the material part it was actually in good shape itself but uh, was really really faded that uh, you could see in spots from the sun just baking on it here in San Antonio Texas dash is amazing straight clean no cracks actually I take that back there's one little tiny crack right here but uh, we can find a good replacement if I really want to get so animal with it um, automatic as you can see driver seats got to be done yet everything electrical on it still works the side panels on the doors are in amazing shape um, I did replace the pedestal pads mats whatever you want to call them the original ones were just absolutely rotted away gone Hoobage. underneath everything is just amazing shape for sitting with a leaky front windshield nothing has rotted through anywhere at all and uh, a lot of the rubber bits have been perished and have fallen apart but a lot of them are still good I mean all the the rubbers I mean a lot of it looks cracked but they're still pliable and workable and I could uh, roll those if I wanted to but uh, the motor is presently out I'm gonna work on this when I come back to do my summertime work here in San Antonio I'm gonna work on getting this one up and running and started motor sitting right there take a quick look around but it's just ready to sit in the garage and be pampered a bit get it running it's gonna be exciting when I get it running because it's just in great shape and I'm excited to see how it does run the only place that has any kind of rot whatsoever is the battery tray of course from the water leaking and it's down through onto the battery gutters are pitted but nothing's rusted through that's probably the two worst areas are the battery tray and maybe the gutters and that's it it's a nice clean original straightforward bus ready to be brought back to life from Texas